Welcome back, Rob. I know uh, last time didn't go exactly the way you wanted it to, so uh, I just talked <laughs> about the lessons you take from a, from a fight like that. Man, that was rough, man. That was rough. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you can't get, get hit that clean that early versus a guy like Aldo. You know, uh, I, was, I was doing good. Uh, even after I got hit, I still felt like I maybe even got that round and then came out the second round, still felt good, and then... After that, it was just everything he touched me with. I was looking at four all those way. <laughs> yeah, no, it was um, it, it, that, that power, man. He had some power, some accuracy, and, and he he picked and chose when to like let that go. And, and you know, like he, he, I felt that veteran in him. Um, he picked and chose when to even exchange, even on the fence, even on the ground. He was just riding it out. It, it was it, it was a smart game plan for him. And then um, yeah, it, it was it was. It was a night, my night, but uh, I, had, I learned a lot. I felt I had fun in doing it, and uh, yeah. I was gonna say, I mean, the positives, I guess, right? I mean, lessons fighting an elite level fighter, and I wonder too. I mean, knowing how hurt you were early on, like, do you take some pride in the fact that, like, maybe a lesser man would have would have found a way out? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you know, I'll take anything I can get right now. But um, yeah, it was tough. I, I um, it was weird because I wasn't like tired. I just wasn't there. You know, like I know I can go five rounds. I know. It wasn't a cardio thing. I just, like, yeah, every time he touched me, it was just, fuck, like, what's going on? It's not working. Slow it down. Stop. You know, like, but, yeah, no, uh, definitely, um, I know, like, you know, like, you're going to have to really put me out to get me out of there, you know, so. Was there any consideration at all to taking more time off? It's like it's a pretty quick turnaround for you. Was there any consideration at all to, like, ah, maybe we should chill for a little bit and, and rest up? Not necessarily. Um, it. It was. It seemed worse than what it was, but it was only maybe two or three big shots. You know, uh, uh, my eye was uh, obviously we we had a heal from the orbital, but that was pretty quick. And then, um, you know, I think I think we had, we had enough time to kind of uh, recover, rest up, and I didn't do much after the fight, and and we we took the recovery serious. And then um, got, once we got the clearance, we was all go. Nice. Back in the main event as well. So I got a one. I mean, does that. Does it feel like maybe the, the promotion's respecting you a little bit or, or, you know, kind of a nice pat on the back? You're like, okay, hold on. They put me back in a main event. They must still believe I belong there. Hell, yeah. You know, um, you know, we, we three back-to-back uh, three main events, you know, versus especially against two former champions. Um, you know, I think they trust me. I think they know I'm going to put on an exciting fight. Uh, I think they know they're gonna, I'm going to make weight. I'm going to show up, and then uh, I'm going to handle business. Nice. You talk about fighting elite-level competition. Where do you rank? Marlon in there is, is do you view him as elite competition what do you think about him as an opponent yeah no he's up there man he's been around for a while it's, it's weird like people like are acting like he's like the new guy but he's been around for a while you know um ultimate fighter show fought a lot of tough guys fought Aldo um yeah no he I, I definitely give him to that uh I would say he might not stand out in one particular like martial art but like overall he's he's he, he's tough um you know he's gritty um and he's not easy to put away either i don't, I don't if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure if he's been finished much so like this guy's there he's hungry um and and um and i, I know he's gonna bring the fight so this is an exciting fight for me i know when you take a loss you have to take a step back a little bit right but you win here i mean you're still right there in those elite so i mean are you still thinking about yourself as a contender and kind of where you shake out in the division Yes and no. Obviously, um, this fight is one of those like we're fighting backwards, and, and that doesn't necessarily obviously catapult me to the title shot, which is whatever. Uh, you know, um, you know, I'm just trying to get my hand raised, get back to that win streak, uh, win streak, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. Nice. Last thing for me, obviously, goal here to pick up a victory, but is it to like maybe silence some people that maybe had doubt after the last one, or is it to maybe prove something to yourself that, no, I am that guy? I mean, what's, what's the goal in this one? No, I just to go out there, do my thing, have fun. Um, you, know, you know how these, the, the critics and the fans are. They're going to they're gonna say whatever they're going to say. I'm going to go out there. I could go out there and knock him out. But like, well, he didn't do it in two rounds. He only did it in three rounds. So, you know, this is for me. This is for, uh, you know saying? This is for the team. This is for the cartel. And I'm just, I'm just excited to get back. Do you think you have an advantage over Cheeto, given the fact you're coming off of two five-round fights in a row, whereas he's yet to have one? Um, yeah, I do. I do believe, uh, you know, that like, when I did my first one uh, versus, uh, it was a Cody, right? It was Cody, yeah. Um, there, was a, there, was a, there was a point, like, all right, well, hopefully we can go off five, but then when you do go off five, you're like, all right, I know I can, I can push it, you know. Um, 
also, I think it all depends on the, like how that first two round plays out. You know, if it's a slower technical fight, like, you know, those extra rounds, I wouldn't say mean much. But if it's up and down, slug them out, then you still got three more rounds. Like, that could change everything. Um, you've never been knocked out in your career. Do you chalk that up to just sheer toughness? Or is it just the defend, defensive skill set of just never being in the way of that kill shot? Oh, I should have, should have, uh, you know, I should have, I should have been a little bit more on point with the last one. But uh, yeah, no, um, you know, I think it's the footwork. I think it's the defense and a little bit of toughness. But yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys.